Okay, Miss Boyd's class, I know this looks a little bit different from your math moves. Um, my math moves is on Google Slides, whereas your math moves is on a worksheet. But it's the same problems, it just looks a little bit different. So number 13, it says, what are the coordinates of the polygon? So if we start here in this lower left corner of this polygon, this polygon is a trapezoid, by the way, the coordinates for this one are 1, 1. So on your paper, you're going to use um, parentheses, 1, 1, and close your parentheses. If we move to the right, the coordinates here are 4, because we go right 4 and up 1. So you're going to use comma, uh, sorry, parentheses, 4, 1, close your parentheses. If we go to this top corner right here, we go to the right 3 and up 5. So our next coordinate will be parentheses, um, 3, 5, close parentheses. And finally, our last um, coordinate, or our last point right here is going to be right 1 and up 5. So you're going to put the coordinates um, 1, 5. All right, the volume of this prism. Volume is length times width times height. So you're going to work out 23 times 5 times 9. Now, I'm not going to tell you what that answer is. You need to work it out on your papers. Don't just write 23 times 5 times 9. Actually work it out. But that's not your final answer. Because then you're either going to add it or multiply by 2. Or some of you might want to do 23 times 5 times 18 because you have 9 here and another 9 here. Either take this first one and multiply it by 2, or you can work out the way of the second one. Your choice. All right, going on to number 14, you can go back after the – sorry, number 15. You can go back to number 14 after the video. Number 15, an ice cream shop uses one-fourth – of a box of sugar cones every day they were open. How many days would two whole boxes last them? So we're taking two whole box them, boxes and we're dividing it by one fourth. So what is, let's see if I can type here, what is two divided by, because I can't do a division symbol, two divided by one fourth, what does that equal? You should all know that two, oops, that's not an equal sign. Two, ooh, my goodness, having trouble here. Two divided by one-fourth equals eight. We started with a whole number, we end with a whole number, and we just multiply our whole number times our denominator. Last one, number 16, we're going to find the volume of prism A, find the volume of prism B, and then add those two volumes together. Now, we have to actually, on mine, you have to move this box so you can see this, but... All right, so for prism A, we are going to do a length times a width times a height. So we would multiply 4 times 3 times 3. Nope, I'm sorry, times 4. 4 times 3 times 4 to get the volume of prism A. Then for prism B, you're going to multiply 8 you're not going to use this 12 because this 12 is partially part A and partially part B. So you're going to use this 8 because 8 is prism B. So it's going to be 8 times 6 times 5. You're not going to use this 12 at all. So you're going to multiply for prism A, multiply for prism B, and when you get your two answers, add them together. Study your math moves for week 22 because tomorrow Miss Cornette is going to give you um, your test for week 22.